Halo sahabat Wemen, Angel di sini kembali lagi bersama aku. Kita akan ada podcast lagi dan kali ini aku kedatangan tamu dari Inggris. Nah, jadi tamunya ini tuh bakal ada di Indonesia karena dia lagi um, Uh, mengerjakan suatu proyek, proyek riset dan dia akan ada di UMN dari tanggal 4 sampai tanggal 10 April jadi siapa kira-kira dia? siapa? hayo, ada yang bisa tebak? nah kita langsung aja kenalan ya jadi stay tune dan tonton sampai akhir Hai. <laughs> so, ini tamu kita dari Inggris. Maybe um, you can say hi to uh, our viewers. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we usually call them sahabat women. So maybe you can get. Halo sahabat women. Sahabat apa? Sahabat women. Sahabat women. Yes. Sahabat Halo orang. sahabat Hai. women. Hai, sahabat women. Oke. Now she is in there. We'll get there. <laughs> Oke. Okay. So, um, maybe uh, you can introduce uh, them about uh, maybe where do you come from and uh, what's your name and maybe introduce yourself. Uh, which campus are you in and what major and also what classes are you in? Okay, so um, starting a couple of years ago now, so almost three years ago I started an apprenticeship uh, in the UK and so apprenticeship where we come from is basically you work part-time and you study part-time. Uh, I started my degree uh, in John Moores University as uh, in building services engineering. So I work part-time with a company called Vital Energy and they're a main contractor. Um, we specialize in sustainability mm-hmm. solutions, mm-hmm. energy savings, okay. carbon reduction a, a lot. Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's that's kind of where I started. Obviously, I forgot to say my name, Ibrahim Kadir. <laughs> um, I'm 19 years old and in my first year uh, of my degree. So he is so young, sahabat <laughs> women, 19 tahun loh, dan dia udah mulai riset uh, penelitiannya dia tuh sejak first year ya. You you're, you're a first year student, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so hmm? I was gonna say that. So this whole research, uh, yeah. my introduction is already question. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, of course. So the the research itself is on AI. So a couple of months ago, there was a competition. Mm-hmm. So I think you, you, over here is more common than I triple E. Okay. Um, within my field, it's SIPSI. So mm-hmm. they had a competition, and you put your proposal forward, mm-hmm. and you propose a research topic. Mm-hmm. It was around the time uh, ChatGPT came yeah. out, yeah, yeah, so it was yeah. the whole hype. Everyone's using it. Yeah. Uh, and so when I put my my proposal, uh, kind of caught a couple eyes and stuff. So, uh-huh. uh, and then I I started it. So the research itself is about again. The future of AI yeah. in our industry. Mm-hmm. We have all these huge buildings mm-hmm. and so many different complex systems. Mm-hmm. How can we use AI to enhance mm-hmm. and to make our buildings more sustainable? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, and uh, who doesn't use uh, AI these days, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah wow. So, uh, when did you arrive at Indonesia? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, Only yesterday. yesterday morning, wow. Yeah. So, is this your first time visiting Indonesia? Yeah, it's wow. first time. It's beautiful to be fair. I was hit with the with the with the heat a little bit, but oh, it's been wow. nice. Oh, so um, what's your opinion about Indonesia? Uh, it's like I said, it's 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 definitely it's very very different to the UK. We're used to <laughs> rain, just cold, yeah, <laughs> cold rain. Yeah, here's uh, summer and only rain, right? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's a nice change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so during your trip here, are there any unique experiences or events that you experienced? Um, the first thing was food. The food was, was nice. <laughs> yeah, agree. <laughs> and, um, and then today I had the opportunity to meet the dean mm-hmm. um, and other lecturers, and I've had the opportunity to hear from them their uh-huh. own stories and uh-huh. where they came from. 
um, I've walked into a couple of lectures and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah. like so far, I've learned so much, and it's not even been 24 hours. <laughs> so yeah, it's so busy, right? Yeah. So, uh, would you please share to us what's your purpose in Indonesia, and do you have any plan to do in Indonesia, or maybe do you uh, have any specific reason or pur purpose towards UMN? Um, so, like I said, uh, well, I don't, I've mentioned, so part of the research is you choose a couple of countries. Mm -hmm. I've already visited Denmark and Sweden, mm -hmm. um, mainly because of the climate. So that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons. So mm -hmm. it's very cold, uh, very big, thick walled buildings, a lot of insulation. Yeah. I went to Dubai, it's mm -hmm. quite very dry. Mm -hmm. um, and then now I've landed in Indonesia because yeah. the climate's a lot more humid, it's quite warm. Yeah. So it's a very, it's, it's a nice comparison to compare how, how we're going to use AI, AI oh. in, in these different, uh, okay. uh, yeah, in these different climates. And so specifically here, I already had one of my old lecturers mm -hmm. who was in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, obviously came from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So I had that link and then I come oh. here to, to kind of uh, oh, so yeah, expand on that. A link, do you have, um what 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 we usually call like relation yeah yeah mm. yeah wow wow so um is there any relation about the climate and ai so the main the main bit is the softwares that we use uh, in our building so we already understand that more than 40 percent of carbon emissions mm -hmm. comes from our buildings mm. and construction in general. Mm. The amount of carbon that you have to create in order for the transport to move the the oh. the, the, the material yeah, or building right, the, right, right, the right. you know from concrete yeah. to, to delivery to even afterwards when you're using your electricity mm. uh, to your dorms, whatever it may be, yeah. you know a lot of it requires energy and electricity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how do we use AI? Is then Within our buildings, we can use it to track how much energy we're using, mm -hmm. um, how much heat we're going to use, mm -hmm. when we can maybe use a bit less here, oh, when we can re use a bit more, uh, and optimizing those systems. Yeah, I understand. Wow. Okay, I haven't. I never think about that, dear. <laughs> um, yeah. So, actually, I have a curi curiosity about. Um, um, peop, some some of my friends um, uh, actually ask me, uh, "Will AI replace human?" <laughs> Whoa! You like you think of like the movies, and it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know what to answer, so maybe I can get the answer from you. <laughs> so far, what, with the people I've spoken to, um, it's been it's been a very interesting idea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because, like you say, you think of AI, you think of how much better it can do everything else, how much yeah. faster it can do yeah. everything else. But you also then go and chat GBT, and sometimes you can ask it a question, yeah. and if you convince it enough, you can make it say, it's one plus one is three. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, uh, from what I've gathered, it's not about replacing, it's about making um, or broadening, broadening the horizons uh -huh. and our own abilities. I'll give you an example. Mm. So, everyone uses a computer. Mm. Everyone uses a computer. If you haven't used a computer, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so, rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but if you go 50 years ago, yeah. 60 years ago, mm -hmm. our own parents or grandparents sometimes, you, they, they don't use it. They, ha they never used to use it. Yeah. They would have thought the exact same thing. Yeah. These computers are going to take our jobs, they're going to replace mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But no, what was it being able to do? You look outside and you see these skyscrapers. You yeah. look how much more money you can make yeah. from your bedroom and you haven't left your house. Mm -hmm. it, it's only given us more abilities. Yeah. And so AI, the way I think of it, is the same. We'll be able to do so much more, so much faster. Mm -hmm. And the way we develop and the, you know, the, the rate of development will be accelerated and catalyzed mm -hmm. using yeah. AI. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. I have an answer to an, uh, to tell to my friends. <laughs> All right, that's um, well. That's a great opinion from you. And now, I, I'll I'll get back to um, your 
story uh, during your trip here. So how long have you been here? And oh, it's only yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so not much to do. Uh, yeah. that I've been able to do. Haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, where do you live during your stay in Indonesia? I stay in a, in a dorm. Dorm. Yeah. yeah. Women dormitory. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how is it? It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. It is uh, an experience. Uh, do you meet? Uh, do you meet um, some of women students? Or I haven't had the opportunity. I got home late and I was like, oh, I just yeah, got yeah, right, knocked out. Right, yeah, yeah. It's it's the the different time changes. Yeah, mm. it just killed me. Yeah. But hopefully, I get to I get the opportunity to speak yeah, to yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. You should. You should have friend from <laughs> Indonesia with your age with, with with the same age with yours. So, um, hang on. Uh, why do you only stay only for like about one semester here? If I had the opportunity, I would. Um, unfortunately, I'm here till the tenth, so only okay. a couple of days, a couple more days. Uh, with work and stuff, it's hard to get mm -hmm. time off. Um, but yeah, I know the the international uh, departments wants to explore more options mm. and uh, hopefully get more students from the UK to come yeah. and visit you and vice versa. Hopefully, yeah. So yeah, it would be, be great to you know grow wait. those relationships. Yeah. Wow. So you you're like um, a door. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that open the access for uh, UK students to come here and visit Indonesia, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you for that. <laughs> wow. So earlier you've mentioned that you were going to uh, women for research. If um, oh, you, sh you have mentioned about this. Um, maybe I want to dig deeper. Uh, what is the aim or the ultimate purpose of your research? So the ultimate purpose is to compare the, how the different countries have been able to integrate AI mm -hmm. and then also see uh, commissioning data. So mm -hmm. what difference has AI you know, been able to make within mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the sectors that yeah. they've been integrated? Mm -hmm. And then after that, after seeing, okay, this is the best way they've done it. These are the challenges they've come across when they were integrating it. Okay. How can other people, how can other countries uh, also then integrate it and make the most out of these opportunities? Mm. Like I said, so this, this technology will hopefully be able to uh, give us the ability to do things a lot faster, mm -hmm. which means what? It means that countries without maybe the resources or the manpower or even the skills to mm -hmm to do what the fifth or first wave countries can do, have now a, a chance to kind of, to catch up and maybe even overtake. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, that's the, the, yeah. the aim. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Considering Indonesia is a one of developing country, right? So yeah, that's why you choose Indonesia. <laughs> What, it's, 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 it's been an interesting comparison because yeah. even they, like the UK, mm -hmm. so they've, they've done a bit of work with AI, but they haven't really integrated it as much as other countries. Mm -hmm. When you look at Dubai, mm -hmm. it, like countries like that, very, very new compared to most other cities, but have invested so much money. Mm -hmm. um, but now when I come to Indonesia, even if the, the economy isn't as strong compared to the other yeah. two, I know just a lot of the buildings and a lot of companies have already started and already ahead of some of the first world countries. Mm -hmm. So it's like I said, it's it's good to see and compare where each country is at. Yeah. Actually, the problem in Indonesia, uh, from my point of view, is that we have a lot of human resource, mm. but maybe we cannot, um, we haven't, we haven't figured out how to um uh like use them properly mm. i mean like um maybe from the uh education that um, is re is really limited and haven't been distributed um properly to mm. like you know like indonesia has 33 provinces and Wow, that's a lot, yeah. and yeah, that's why it's hard to reach them, to educate them. Mm -hmm. That's why, actually, we have so many human resources, but we cannot 
use them properly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, and maybe AI can help it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, do you do this research and got a scholarship? That so, you? it was more like because uh, it was like more of a competition. Mm -hmm. Um, they were able to fund obviously doing the travel and the expenses mm -hmm. and so on yeah. that's associated. So. Again, like I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been given an opportunity. So many others yeah. have been able to, and the opportunity for me to to learn at the end yeah. of the day and visit all these countries. So it's been great. Yeah. yeah. Um, where have you um, been going to? Like, oh, before Indonesia, which countries have you been? So I started off in uh, Denmark and Sweden. Denmark, Sweden. Um, it was like they're like 40 minutes difference between each other so they, oh, they were quite easy okay. to travel between yeah. and then i went to the emirates uh, so dubai and uh, abu dhabi mm -hmm. and then i landed in indonesia okay yeah. wow so this is your last country the last stop yeah yeah oh and yeah. then you go back to to cold Liverpool. uk yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> so last for the best yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hope you have um, best experience here. Yeah. I hope so too. Yeah. And um, so, the scholarship, uh, what form was the scholarship that you get? Like the funding or, yeah. or the funding? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, all right. And um, the professional organization, um, what are the criteria applied for? participant who wants to join the organization? Um, the organization mm -hmm. is called SIPSI, so it's similar to the IEEE. Mm -hmm. No qualifications are really you know, required. Oh, All okay. you need is the student membership, mm -hmm. which is, I think it's about four. It's free if you're a student, but if you're part-time, it's 40 pounds, which is for oh. me. Um, but yeah, no qualification is required. Oh. They have events every so often um, in the UK, but they also have some uh, in the UAE and some virtually as well um, mm. that people can get involved with. And they open you up to a whole network of professionals all over the world. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. Wow, yeah. that's nice. So, um, why did you choose women as your object for your research? Um, so, like I mentioned, my old lecturer, so he, oh, he was, yeah, so in P he was doing a PhD in the UK oh, okay. uh, and then he moved back to Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And so obviously we already had a, a connection <laughs> and, and I, made, I made that. And to be honest, I've only seen, as soon as I got on, it, it's so much like so different to, compared to the UK. Oh. Like I said, everything in the UK is really closed because the temperature is quite cold. Uh -huh. But you come to, to, to the campus and like the first thing I saw is like trees like, and really? like, it's like, so nice, like yeah. Like forest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because women itself um, has achieved um, achievement of uh, the most uh, green campus on um, global scale. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but it's not like the first position, um, but still, yeah. um, it is one, women is one of uh, Green building campus. Uh, like the whole vibe yeah. just makes you feel like peaceful. Yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. You can just like sit there and meditating. Yeah, it's just and chill. It's like <laughs> the best feeling ever. Um, okay, so um, back to your research project. Um, what are the benefits of your research for the future, or um, both in general and for women? So maybe for women, I know that they've started already developing their own um, AI and they've had it, it sounds like, yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but even um, Mr. Ka uh, Dr. Kariomo, mm -hmm. he's developing an AI for this own building um, mm -hmm. and to manage its own uh, utilities and, and to make sure yeah. it's as green and mm -hmm. most as yeah. sustainable as possible. Uh, in terms of uh, on a global scale, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, you know, by presenting this advice and, and bringing these people together, mm -hmm. um, it will hopefully give people the chance to, to adopt these technologies and catch up or, or get ahead. Yeah. Um, 
whilst we're at such a, a an early stage. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and for myself, mm-hmm. obviously, I've been able to learn about so many, you know, I, I've learned so much and connect mm-hmm. with so many different people with so many different backgrounds mm-hmm. um, and really broaden my own horizons. So yeah. even personally, aside, uh, you know, education, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been great, you know, yeah. and I've learned so much. You travel alone or do you have yeah, any, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. just freestyling the whole thing, you know. You enjoy. Yeah, it's been great. Traveling alone. It's it it's nice to share the memories with someone, yeah. but even like the kind of uh, the explore the adventure side mm-hmm. of you don't know what anyone is saying, but yeah. you just like smiling like okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. I will just travel alone. Just me and my Google Maps. It's, it's, everything's <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> you should travel a lot here. Yeah. Because so many to visit. Mm. Yeah. For. Um, from um, for April till 10 April yeah yeah, right? yeah. so the 10th you have April. six days you have six days to travel in Indonesia um, especially in Jakarta yeah mm. there's so many to visit so hopefully you can enjoy your time here yeah <laughs> okay. hopefully more visits to come yeah yeah, yeah. And hopefully that you have friends to travel with you here <laughs> in Asia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and so, what will you do after you've done with the, uh, with with your research, and where do you want to publish it later? Um, I think it should. It's going to be published uh, with Sipsi mm. uh, on their website. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, I'm also partnered with a different uh, organization called mm-hmm. Besser. Mm-hmm. Uh, build an engineering services association mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully they'll, they'll give it a little shout out and hopefully you know the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, university yeah. might do as well um, so yeah and uh, it reaches many people as possible yeah, yeah. hopefully yeah All right since um, this suddenly came up to my mind your major is in the field of building services engineering apprentice at vital energy Mm-hmm. What do you have in mind about the professional opportunities in this field from your point of view? And what does it look like of the current uh, developments in other countries, including your home country? Um, I think it will allow for so many more opportunities for mm-hmm. so many more different people. Mm-hmm. Um, the nature of the work is virtual. Uh, even within my own work, we have people built, uh, specialist, specialists in building, mm-hmm. building management systems. Mm-hmm. Um, and they work five days a week from their house. Wow. So, and, and it just goes to show um, you can work anywhere in the world yeah. and still have you know, the, the, the opportunity um, I, for people that live in here, people living in so many other different countries. Um, so yeah, I forgot the other question. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other question is what does it look like of the current developments in other countries including your home country yeah so like i said so give uh, give people more opportunities in terms of work mm-hmm. um but also the ai in particular you know it's, it's so new which means by getting into it at this stage you're more likely to be open to more opportunities mm-hmm. um, and hopefully establish more make a bigger impact mm-hmm. um, so yeah um, based on the way you see it, what are the trends in the field of green building and building sustainability in the scale of global trends? Um, the way I see it, the way, well, from what I've ob- observed, mm-hmm. um, integrating greenery in general, even in the UK, mm-hmm. uh, is, is, is constantly being adopted in so many different yeah. buildings. Yeah. Uh, in Manchester, which is obviously Mm-hmm. I'm sure most a lot of people know yeah. uh, Manchester. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but they have a, a, an office building mm-hmm. where the whole facade, the whole outside of the building, is just plants. Yeah. So it, it literally looks like something from Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Um, wow! Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, like here? 
This like here. Like, this is Jurassic Park. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially when you go into the reef and you see it, like trees coming from the yeah, middle of the building. Yeah, yeah. We can just wait until the T Rex comes yeah, from yes, there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and actually, um, moving back to your campus life, you're the first student that ever uh, doing a research project. Like, usually, um, students right here doing their research project on the last semester. Yeah, yeah. On the last year, right? And you're like, wow. You're like, <laughs> The mm, the drip, um the most unique student that I've ever met. Like, wow, how can you do your research project on the first semester? So I've been curious on how's your co uh, campus life or experience. Uh, I think the first year is uh, usually quite easier. Uh, quite you know, easy, easy compared to to most. Um, but it, it, it's great. I mean, we have a lot of support and facilities, resources, all mm -hmm. there. Um, so I think we're quite privileged in that mm -hmm. respect. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's good so far until mm -hmm. like you get to assignments, you got assignment tomorrow and you're sitting there till 12 <laughs> in the morning. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. You're the kind of um, student that likes to learn, uh, to study um, on the night before or like, Far back. I always have the intention to, to start very early. Uh -huh. So I start like a little and little. Huh. Um, which which is, it's been getting better and better. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I used to I used to be really bad. I used to like have like twenty less than twenty four hours and I'd be sitting there like asking for an uh, just give me an extra ten minutes please. <laughs> it's like but yeah. So so you're like um like um before the exam. Start, you just study, right? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll try to get out that, that habit now though. As we get into the second and third yeah. year, it, it gets a bit harder to do yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an useful thing right here. Yeah. Yeah? So we, 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 don't, we don't like starting early. <laughs> we like to have it uh, studying in a hurry, in a rushing hour. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, have you figured out what your future plans after doing this project? Uh, will there be any further developments regarding your project? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> um, I think my, go my, my, motto, my motto has always been to open as many doors as I can mm -hmm. and then see where they take me. I always, like I said, I always wanted to make as big as an impact as I can. Um, make that change mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully something uh, comes out of it mm -hmm. afterwards and to be honest already so many so many so so much has already you know has already been offered to me and mm -hmm. and been presented to me and mm -hmm. um, that i could have never imagined you know my first my first ever travel on train mm -hmm. was on my first day to work Oh, wow. Two years later, my first ever, you know, flight by myself, traveling for a whole month uh -huh. is, is now, you know, <laughs> yeah. so it goes to show, you know, just putting yourself out there and taking those steps that aren't so comfortable yeah. to take and always pay off. Yeah. So it's been great and hopefully more to come. Mm -hmm. I know. You have a bright future ahead. <sighs> Thank really you. bright. <laughs> okay, then. Um, Nah, itu tadi keseruan uh, aku ngobrol bersama Ibrahim Kodir. Ternyata peluang profesi di bidang teknik fisika, di bidang building sustainability itu ternyata sangat luas ya, sahabat UMN. Dan mungkin sahabat UMN juga bisa merasakan uh, pengalaman yang sama sama Ibrahim. Bisa berkunjung ke berbagai negara dan melakukan riset, penelitian. Bisa... Ya harapannya buat sahabat UMN yang tertarik untuk uh, belajar lebih dalam tentang building sustainability dan um, manajemen energi. Mungkin kalian bisa coba untuk uh, kuliah teknik fisika di UMN supaya kalian bisa mungkin merasakan pengalaman yang sama sama Ibrahim. Oke, okay, thank you Ibrahim for sharing for um, this uh, chit chat. 
um, hopefully you have a great experience right here and maybe you can say to sahabat women bye bye sahabat women bye sahabat women. it's been a pleasure thanks for having me <laughs> oke okay, bagi kalian yang pengen tahu lebih lanjut tentang women kalian bisa langsung cek aja di websitenya www.women.ac.id dan jangan lupa untuk pantau terus semua media sosialnya women baik instagram tiktok maupun youtube dan sampai jumpa lagi sahabat women bye bye bye